Hi, it's day two and we're ready to cook our turkey. I have an assistant today. This is Torrin. Say hi, Torrin. Hi. Hi, Torrin. And we're going to start on our turkey. First thing we have to do is drain it uh, away from the brine that we put it in yesterday. So let's get over here. Okay. Okay. You know, I love this. Okay. Oh. There we are. Maybe. You make sure it doesn't fall out of there. I got something in my hands. Sure. What was the first thing we did? Uh, wash our hands. Yeah. Wash our hands. With soap and water, right? Yeah. Not the soap and water. Up, don't let it fall. Ah. That's okay, because we need to wash it off. Okay. Right now, the turkey has a, a he's been sitting in a salt brine, so a lot of this liquid that's on it right now will crystallize unless we wash it off. We're going to give him a good wash. You can see his colors changed a little bit. He started soaking up some of the uh, the broth and the seasoning that we had him soaking in. It sounds like something. <laughs> now I've got my rack here. You see there's a rack inside a pan? Yeah. Right. This will help elevate the turkey, and so the hot air can get underneath it better. Oh, that's good. Down there. Mm -hmm. there we are. Now we got to dry him off. Okay. All right. Ah, oh, with paper towels. Paper towels. Okay. Just start patting him all over with paper towels. Patting. <laughs> patting. Yeah, getting all that water off. I just do this. Why do you think we're getting the water off? Because, I don't know. You don't know. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to coat him with a little bit of oil. Ooh! And oil and water don't like to go together, so we need to get him dry first so the oil will stick. Yeah, so they won't, like, go out. Yeah. There. Do you remember where the apple is? Can you find me the apple? Okay! All right. What we're going to do, instead of stuffing him with stuffing, we're going to put some aromatics into him. We're going to do onions, apples, sage, and celery. I'm just going to give these, cutting them into quarters. And this is to come here inside the cavity. A little bit of apple there. Fine. I'm gonna stuff this one under here. Oh, that tastes so. Yeah. That's so amazing. <laughs> a couple pieces of celery inside. He's going like. He's like a. It's like oh. a. Da it's like a dance. Push that in there. There. Some nice sage. Now I'm going to slick him down. Put oil, legs. A lot of turkeys come, most turkeys come, with one of these. Uh, sometimes it's metal, sometimes it's plastic. Either way, you want to leave this on because it will hold the legs in place and give you a nice look. I don't, I don't have any oil, so I don't have to get one. I'm going to take the wings mm -hmm. and I'm going to tuck them back behind the turkey. Ooh. Otherwise, these bits just kind of flop around, and because they're so thin, yeah. they'll, they'll cook much faster than the rest of the turkey. All this cooked at the same time. The problem is that the breast meat, which is done around 165, and the dark meat is done about 185. So the question is, how do we keep the meat, or the heat, from going into the breast as fast as it goes into the meat? And the trick is... Whoa! Handy dandy piece of aluminum. Mm. We're just going to mold this to the breast 
Now, before we stick it in the oven, even yes. though we're not going to, when we put these in the oven, we're not going to put it in with this already on it. What we're going to do is we're going to put it into a 500 degree oven okay. for half an hour okay. and let it get nice and brown. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to take our little uh, turkey, yeah, a little uh, thing of foil here. Mm -hmm. Got a little, little keel bone on it. Yeah. See, it's perfectly molded. We'll just be able to pop that down. Right now we'll put that to the side. Now, here's the the probe thermometer. Yeah, we put it on that thermometer. That thing, that's right. So you just stick it in. Mm -hmm. you, just you want to put it into the deepest part of the breast. One thing I like to do is figure out about how deep I want to go with it. Put my finger on it and then shove. Oh, yes. You want to be careful that you don't hit either the keel bone or the ribs because that will give you a false temperature. Here we are. I'm going to put them in. Put them in. Now, if you can, put them in legs first. My uh, my oven isn't that deep, so I'm going to just put them in sideways. Now you open, close it. This is, you guys set up the 30. <laughs> Alright, yes, I'm going to put this up to 30, 30 minutes. Let's see. Uh, What does that say? 30. 30! 30. <laughs> 30 minutes. And I'm going to set the temperature to 61, 161 degrees. Now I know I said, um, let's get this started. I know I said 165. You always have to keep in mind that there's going to be some carryover time. So 161, I'll pull it out, it'll come up to 165 and be perfect. Okay, here's our turkey after half an hour. As you can see, he's got some beautiful golden color on him already. This is top. His little breastplate on. And that'll keep this um, breast from getting any browner. So you make sure you get the color on there you want before you slap this on. And we will also prevent the heat from going in as quickly as it goes into the drumsticks. Is that one gorgeous bird or what? Okay, here's our turkey. It's rested for 20 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and pull these out. There we are. Okay. Is it ready yet? Oh, yeah, it's ready. Yay! Okay. Look at that meat. Mm. Nice and yummy. Yeah. Whoa. And oh. very, very juicy. And they almost ran off too. That's all there is to great turkey. Now turkey is a wonderful meat for low carbers. It's easy to make, it's tasty, and if you've done it the way we've done it, it's going to be one of the juiciest meats you've ever had. My name is Jessica Prevort and this has been Kitchen Table Productions.